All right, guys. I know it's been a minute since I last did this, but I'm back again with another Little Big Planning carding episode to begin episode number five of the series, since we just finished up, of course, all of the Nitro Grand Prix Cups. And since we were finished with the Special Cup in the last episode, we might as well get into the Retro Cups now. And what better way to start it off than with our first Retro Cup, eh? Well, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so to begin our Retro Cup series, we might as well get started with the Shell Cup first, like I mentioned before. So for this first course, I'm gonna select Scales on this one, considering that he seems to be the perfect choice for this first track. And as for the vehicle that I'm gonna choose for him, we're gonna select him in the paper bike. I think everything else looks good. I don't think I need to change the tires. So yeah, we're good. So, this particular deal has the same 4 vibe agenda as in Mario Kart DS with 4 SNES, 4 N64, 4 GBA, and 4 GCN tracks. But it's not the same as Mario Kart DS, so keep that in mind. I only chose the ones that made sense to me. But beginning off, we're going to start with SNES Mario Circuit 1 from Super Mario Kart, but in Little Big Planet karting style. So let's go! All right, let's go. So these green tees are meant to represent the pipes that are shown in, in Mario Circuit 1, as well as all the other Mario Circuits and Super Mario Kart. I custom made them myself. I know pipes are not really meant to have eyes, but I decided why the heck not include eyes in there. Thank God I dodged that. Ooh, that was a close one. Don't celebrate yet. Well, that was a close one. Okay, so far so good. And each of the courses two contain three laps, the retro ones anyway. And at the last second, it's still one. All right, that does it for the first course. There you go. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. Alright, that does it for the first track, so almost to the next one. Let's take a look at what the next track is. Alright, now that we're done with the SNES Mario Circuit 1, almost to our first N64 course. Which in this case, I think I'm going to decide on a different character to take this one. I think I'm going to go for or honestly, who can I trust to go out there? Um, I think in all honesty, something told me to go for Alvin. I don't know why, but something told me to go for Alvin. So I'm picking Alvin for this one. As for the vehicle of choice, I think I'm gonna select him on the on the line vehicle and i think we'll select him in the hover setting just because it seems to be fitting for me with that said let's move on to our first n64 course which just so happens to be moo moo farm from mario kart 64. i for n64 moo moo farm guys let's go All right, let's go for it. As you can see, I added in loads and loads of bulls and cows, and I have the same exact yellow star money moles as in Daisy Beach when we last encountered that course. So yeah, some of the same things can apply here. Just the fact that there's now cows and such like that. So yeah. Not two. All right, last lap. So far, everyone's at the far back. I just realized. And just let that I got here.
Well, it's over anyway. Well, that was the easiest course I've had. Wow. Okay, we were able to take that out pretty easily. I will take it. Poor guy back there, sad. I feel kind of bad for him. Okay, well, with that one out of the way, onwards we go to our next track. All right. Two courses down, two more to go. So onwards we go to our first GBA track. This time I'm going to take BB with me as my choice of character. Just because I think she's the cutest girl around and therefore she deserves to be in her own choice of vehicle, which is in this kind of case, the Wild West. All right, everything looks good on Square. Let's go ahead and move on to our next track. Direction, dude. Here it is. Peach Circuit. Time for our first GA track from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Let's get to it. Look, the entire crew is in the background, by the way. Even the king and queen. I don't know what the heck happened over there. Alright, lap two. They're cheering for us, BB. You can do it. You cannot be serious. Alright, last lap. Come on, we can do this. Okay, that can be a problem. Luckily, there's a second one. I just like that, that other guy got. I'm trying to be as careful as I can, that's the thing. And I still win regardless. I would have won anyway. Okay, not too bad. We were able to win that. I will take it. I mean, that might have been a little tough, but. So, bro, that was doable. We get 90 points. Okay, not too bad. Go back for a second, for a second, we are back there. Anyway, on to our last track. All right, there is one more track for us to complete, and that is our first GCN track. And because of this, I think we're gonna use one particular character that I wanted to choose for this exact occasion, really. And that one character, in case you are wondering, is one particular special character that I want to choose. And that is, of course, the Bride. So that's who I'm picking for this one. As for her vehicle, I'm gonna choose her in the Skull. And for the first time, I'm picking it in a tank, cause why not? Who doesn't like tanks? This is it. GCN Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Double Dash. The only main change to this one is that it takes place at sunset and that there's only just a chain shot, unlike in the previous Luigi Circuit. So yeah. All right, let's go. Last track. Also, the king and the other here are a little bit different in this one, so keep that in mind. And there's also ghosts to fit the king as well. That too. Oh, 
I'll keep this in the bag, just in case. That thing just went through the, the ramp. What the heck? Final lap. Ooh, that was a smart idea. Thank God I dodged that too. Ooh, they tried. Ooh, thank God I reacted fast enough. That could turn out much worse. And I still won. I wouldn't want anyway. What was even the point? All right, that's every single track in the Shell Cup for you. Okay, that's every single track in the Retro Grand Prix um, for the Shell Cup, the Beginner Cup. So the point system here was also changed. 90 if you get first, 60 if you get second, 40 if you get last. Or, no, not last, I'm third, so keep that in mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's every single course I have to cover for the Shell Cup today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun making this video. And I will see you guys next time when I come back for the next episode to tackle the next Retro Cup. But till next time, guys, bye.